All right, so before we get started with anything else, let's make sure the solenoid we're working with is good. I've got Christian on the phone right there. He's at the controller way down there so that he can send voltage to me if I need it. We're gonna go ahead and the solenoid is good. So we've got a good solenoid here. Christian, send me power to zone five. All right, so we'll get our multimeter set up in AC power. We'll connect to our to here. We are getting zero volts here. So we're not getting voltage on this wire. And as long as, keep it running. Let me see if I catch the voltage on another wire. No, we did not catch the voltage on another wire. The other thing I'm gonna check, you can shut it down, Chris. I'm gonna see if I have continuity on any of these wires. Nothing there. Nope. 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 No. 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 And no. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take our Armada tracker and we're gonna send voltage from our end down to Chris and he's got a low voltage pen where he can detect which wire is lighting up. It's possible that this wire is not even connected to the controller. All right, and with our tracker on, hey Chris, I gave David that low voltage pen. I'm sending voltage over to the controller. I'm sending the voltage back with the tracker on what we believe is zone five wire. Chris is now going to go check and see if this is an extra bundle of wires at the controller. Shouldn't probably be extra, but he's going to go see if it's one of those now. You have voltage in one, but you don't have it cut. What does that mean? Oh, never mind. It's a false reading? Not a wire. Things weird sometimes. It can stay on. Add the voltage pen on one of the extra wires in the controller. Beautiful. So we've identified a wire that's going to work for us over there, and it's an extra wire that wasn't being used already, right? No. All right, beautiful. So let's go ahead and connect that to zone number five, and then let me know when you got it turned on. Do that to mark the wire so that it doesn't get confused with the rest. Can you send that one more time? I'm here, I'm fighting ants over here. Give me a second. No problem. All right, Chris, you sent me power? Send you power. All right, let's test this solenoid. Pop, 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 pop. We've got a good circuit. All right, problem solved, Chris. We'll go ahead and put some wire nuts on this. You can shut it down on your end so I don't have to play with 24 volts. All right. All right, I'll clean this up and I'll meet you back at the truck. All right. As you saw, we had to use a few different tools to figure out what we needed to figure out here. And what we needed to figure out is whether this wire was good or not. We're not exactly sure why it's not. We could go and troubleshoot that and track it down and find out where the break is, but clearly there is plenty of other options here. So we used a few tools here to figure out which one of these other options we can use. We used our Armada locator to send the voltage down this wire. He's using a Klein low voltage pen to detect that power at the other end. I used my Station Master Pro to make sure that the solenoid we're working here was good. Even though I do that, I still carry a brand new solenoid with me just because I know that the solenoid works. And then I used the multimeter to make sure I had both continuity and voltage on the circuit. All of these tools are necessary to do the troubleshooting that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, now that I got this one figured out, we got to get on to the next one.